Good morning! I'm in Paris, France for the first time in like three years. The last time I was here, I was a competitor at the Just Dance World Cup. And now I'm here as a host, which is really weird. <laughs> really, really weird, but um, also really exciting because I feel like I've grown a lot. Why is this camera never in focus? Camera, why? Hopefully that'll be better. You guys know I'm not the best vlogger, but I try. I'm actually going to be heading to the uh, area where they're hosting the World Cup pretty soon for some rehearsals to talk about what we're going to be doing and uh, who we're going to be talking to. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be in Paris as a non-competitor, if that makes sense, because every time I'm here, I'm so stressed out about if I'm going to... Wow, that was like a great bun shot. Hey. Every time I'm here, I'm so stressed out about if I'm gonna win, or training, or competing, or whatever. So it feels really, really good to be able to be here and just relax and actually get to watch the competition from like a viewer standpoint. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I actually got here yesterday morning, and I was gonna vlog yesterday, but I was so sleep deprived. I hadn't slept in like 24 hours, and I was just like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Not today. I'll talk a little bit about yesterday though, because yesterday was amazing. Um, I got to go to the Just Dance studios where they make the game and I got to talk to like a bunch of the developers, um, people from like the game design and who make the sound and the UI and the costumes and it was just so amazing. I can't even really, I'm not allowed to talk about like the specifics but it was really really nice to talk to the developers like behind the team. You don't really get a chance to do that for your favorite games so it was really nice to be able to see what they do and how they do it and the coding and all of that stuff. It was really, really, like, intriguing. After that, I ended up seeing Manu, uh, who competed the first two years with me. I think he competed the third year as well, but I can't remember. I gave up on remembering. I got to see him. We were actually going to take a class with um, Jerky Jesse, who is one of the dancers on Just Dance, but we didn't make it in time, and then we decided we wanted pizza. <laughs> Which shows how motivated and dedicated we are to dancing. It's been really nice to be back. Really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit around Paris. And we'll vlog and talk to some of the competitors. And yeah. Yay! A lot of emotions have a lot of feelings um, but I think it'll go okay we had our rehearsals yesterday I talked about that already and we talked about the run of show and how things are gonna go and I'm honestly not doing too much so um, that's good for me because I'm terrified <laughs> I'm honestly just really excited to watch the World Cup and watch the contestants compete um, there's 17 of them there was supposed to be 18 but one girl forfeited so there's 17 of them and they need to bring it down to six before the live stream and that's the finals so um, the first part of like the semifinals won't be streamed until they get down to six and then they're gonna stream it and that's when I do the interviews and stuff I don't really have any predictions um, they're all insanely good at scoring they're really 
really good and um, I would like to see Australia and USA do well, uh, Denzel and Asleno, because those are my home countries so of course I want to see them do very very well. But honestly it could go either way. There's um, there's a lot of competitors, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tension, uh, it is very scary and it's interesting to see how it's changed since I competed because when I first competed nobody really knew what the Just Dance World Cup was. I competed in the first and second World Cup and um, the first time nobody really knew what it was so nobody was training too hard like I didn't really train super hard either um, and it was very new I just danced I didn't really think about tricks with scoring and stuff and it's interesting to see the new generation of dancers they're so driven and they're perfectionists and they have to get everything like right exactly right uh, and they're very very hard workers so this should be a great competition I'm excited I'm excited to see it we've got an awesome jury too uh, we've got two amazing judges uh, one of them is Kimberly Wyatt who is a professional dancer and singer and she was in the Pussycat Dolls so that's like exciting for me because I love the Pussycat Dolls There's also Zach Reese who's a professional dancer and he's worked with like a ton of top names like Janet Jackson so uh, I'm excited to see us having more like super professional um, judges. It's really cool. It's really cool to see how it's changed over the years. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to watch it from a viewer's perspective. Other than that, I've just been eating a lot of bread. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really done much other than that. Just eating so much bread. <sighs> I love bread. All right, we're gonna head to the uh, the Webedia Center where they're going to hold the competition. Um, we're gonna do rehearsals before they take over the stage to start competing. Um, so hopefully I'll get a chance to work these nerves out and then everything will be fine. Or it won't be. <laughs> I'm dancing. Ooh, yeah. How are you feeling about the Just Dance World Cup? I'm excited. I'm excited because I get to see everybody who's been competing and most of them actually this year I've never made them, only online and now they're all here and I can like talk to them and touch them. Yeah. Touch them. Without, <laughs> being, without being weird. <laughs> but you know, it's really cool and nice. This is your fourth World Cup? Yeah, I'm old. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the difference you're seeing between now and the first one? I think the level, the, is, the World Cup is getting bigger and bigger and involving more and more people who are more and more talented. So I think this year it's going to be amazing. Like the finals are going to be great. Is there anybody you're rooting for? <laughs> <laughs> I had to try. <laughs> for the thousands of people who started competing online and on the live events and and in the, all the different competitions that we have uh, through the year, so no, I cannot pick. You're all my babies. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Do you like pineapple on pizza? Pineapple on pizza is weird. No. It is. You're wrong. I'm. Not I'm sorry. You're wrong. No. <laughs> it's just like eating your sushi with the sweet sauce. Yes. The sweet the sauce. Yes. Oh, I've never sauce tried that before. Sweet soy sauce. Ugh. Yeah. That's okay, cool. that's pretty gross. I'm with you on that one. Is there anything you want to say to the Just Dance community? I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Moose! <laughs> That was amazing. 
for the first time I got to watch the World Cup from like a viewer's perspective in person and it was so tense and exciting and scary and magical like it was just amazing like there were some matches where there were only like a four point difference not three but four <laughs> there was only like a four point difference there was another one where there was like 15 points between them it was the competition was so tight it was just full of like the most perfectionist competitors ever and it was really cool to be able to welcome in like a new generation of competitors because even though I tried to qualify this year and I didn't make it, I still got to go and host. And Aslano, who did qualify for the US, ended up being on the podium. And that's the first time that America has ever been on the podium for the Just Dance World Cup. So I am very, very proud of him. He did exceptionally well. For those of you who don't keep up with the World Cup, um, last year Umuchan won from Turkey. He's like 17 and he's insanely good at dancing and very like good at performance and stuff. He won again this year. He took the crown again. So yeah, it's it was just it was so much fun. It was also my first time hosting uh, live, and that was terrifying. I have so much respect for people that do live hosting and live events, especially with like esports. That like so much can go wrong. That entire production team was just running around everywhere, making sure everyone was in the right place and talking to me in my ear while I was communicating with people. So that was kind of difficult for me to like listen to them and hear the production team in my ear. It was very strange. I also had to bring the trophy out from backstage to the front where the jury was and I was so scared I was gonna drop it. <laughs> I was so certain that I was gonna trip over something and just like bomb and like break the trophy. It's funny because the last time I competed on stage was like three years ago and in the video I'm running out on stage with Dina and the smoke uh, the smoke machine scares the crap out of me because I had no idea that was there and it was like out of nowhere and I thought it was like a gunshot so I was like huh when I walked out with the trophy today the, the smoke machines went off again I had no idea they were and I didn't get scared and I was I was very calm and I did not drop the trophy even though it was like a hundred pounds legit that trophy is so heavy it is, it is really heavy. I don't know how Umuchan's gonna get it home because <laughs> it's heavy. Overall, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. All of the competitors are extremely hardworking, super perfectionist. Like, they are, they are competitors. They are strong competitors. And I was very, very proud to be able to work with them. It made me a little bit emotional because I was sitting with one of the competitors while we were doing a flash mob out in Paris and it was this is his first year competing in in the finals and he was like this is amazing this is this is my family like I get to be with my family all in one place like everybody from the Just Dance community from their respective countries gets to be in the same place together and be a family and he was like I don't care if I win or lose like I'm here with my family and it was so beautiful because the Just Dance World Cup changed my life entirely. That's where I found Twitch, and Aslan was the one that uh, that pushed me to stream. Um, and everyone from like the first two years is my family. They absolutely are my family, and um, I love them to pieces. So I completely understand what he was saying. And it was just, it was really beautiful. I'm, I'm so glad I did this. I didn't want to host at first because. Public speaking is terrifying to me, but I continue to accept host jobs because I know that the more that I do something that scares me, the less scary it will be eventually. And I think that goes for anyone. If there's anything you've always wanted to do, but it scares the crap out of you, you just gotta do it. You might make a fool of yourself. I've made a fool of myself live many times, but it's worth it. It is so, so, so worth it. Anywho's. My flight is tomorrow at like 11 a.m. and it's like 11 p.m. So I am gonna lay in bed, eat Oreos, and watch French television that I don't understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, if you did want to watch the finals, um, the entire cast you can find on Ubisoft's Twitch 
or the Just Dance Facebook. They also streamed it on the Just Dance YouTube as well, so you should be able to find it on any of those. Bon nuit from Paris. Mwah. I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.